when you think of disaster, you think of the Red Cross. So when we were planning our TV show around the fire crisis, we thought we need to talk with our chapter of America Red Cross and find out their story around the fire. So here we are, and I'm with Catherine Bardet here at Red Cross. And you know what she's trying to do? She's trying to put me to work. <laughs> no, this is part of a kit that they passed out to help the fire victims. Well, start us with the, at the very beginning, what all that you did as soon as you knew there was a problem. We knew that there was an issue actually the week before. Our volunteers had opened up a shelter up in Teller County for the Springer Fire. Oh. And so we had volunteers there. We had volunteers up at the High Park um, at Fort Collins. So we were already responding to wildfires in our community. So when this fire started, we were obviously well positioned to be able to support our community. Mm -hmm. We opened up five shelters in response to this, um, uh, two up in Teller County and the remainder here in Colorado Springs. And they were full, weren't they? Uh, we actually had room available at all of the shelters and we were prepared to open more if the community needed that. Mm -hmm. But they were very busy. Oh, we were very busy. Mm -hmm. In the end, we probably, with the five shelters, we had over 1,600 people stay overnight mm -hmm. with us. But when you consider that 35,000 people were evacuated in our city, we had had the time to help encourage everyone to make a plan. If you are mm -hmm. on pre-evacuation, here's what you need to do to mm -hmm. make yourself and your family prepared, and that includes everything from uh, an evacuation kit, uh, collecting your medications, your, your documents, uh, having a plan for your pets so mm -hmm. you could grab and leave. So mm -hmm. we had done a lot with preparedness messages so mm -hmm. that when that time came, our community was ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you were working with the shelters, but then you moved into other areas. Yes, we did. Um, as the areas, um, the residents were allowed to go back into their communities, the Mountain Shadows community, for example. Um, our volunteers were up there with their emergency response vehicles, and we had 19 of these vehicles which were loaded up with um, our disaster cleanup kits, um, water, information, and also uh, riding along with um, our emergency vehicles were our Red Cross uh, mental health uh, volunteers to be able to provide just a little bit of support, you know, as families going back into their homes or seeing their home for the first time, you know, they would have that support and somebody mm -hmm. to talk to. Really a tough time. It was a difficult time for our community. And even now, you know, we are still working um, with a lot of individuals, um, you know, to help them with the recovery because this is not just an immediate response. Right. This is a long-term recovery. Very long-term. And then again, now we are uh, prepared to respond to any flooding which may happen. So again, our and message is happening. And it is, it is. And and again, you know, we're we're trying to be proactive and we are very proactive with our messaging to prepare for for these situations, to be able to mitigate and, mm -hmm. and manage before mm -hmm. you ever need to respond. Well, if people want to volunteer and you know as time goes along, I know things will change. Mm -hmm. But what should they do right now? Should they call you, go online, find out what the needs are? Absolutely. We always have volunteer opportunities okay. available, and we encourage everybody to go to redcross.org okay. to learn how to become a trained volunteer for when that time of need is here, they are ready. Um, also, uh, get familiar with um, all of the tools that we have available on our Red Cross website. Good. We have our Safe and Well program um, to uh, okay. help you with a, an emergency communication Good. plan with your family. Oh, well, we're glad you're here. Well, thank you. And thank you for being here today.